All right, I'm back. Been sick for like a month and a half. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. But I'm feeling a little bit better. Well, I'm feeling a lot better actually. And um, in the meantime, I got a tape recorder from somebody that uh, said it was broken. Um, it is eating tapes. I definitely verified that it's eating tapes. And so these are becoming more popular uh, lately, especially ever since Andrew Wong did a um, video for amulets and showing some stuff about tape loops. It's kind of like a, starting to explode back onto the scene. These are really fun recorders, but you're going to often buy them and they're going to have problems. So it helps to know how to fix them. So let me show you what the problem is here. Got a stupid tape that I don't care about. <clears throat> Put it in here. Press play. It's making all kinds of horrible noise. And it's eating the tape, as you can see. So I'm not letting it go too long. It's, I mean, it's really chewing it up. So, um, yeah, uh, this is going to be a real quick video just showing you how we can fix this. Um, there's a couple of ways. I don't know why it's so noisy, first of all, so we're going to have to figure that out. But um, the first thing I'm going to do is there's a stuff called uh, Rubber Restore. I got it from VintageElectronics.net. Uh, it's Vintage-Electronics.net and um, you can also get a head cleaner there. Uh, this stuff is pretty powerful, so use it in a well-ventilated room. And also we're gonna be using some rubbing alcohol today because I'm just gonna open this thing up, clean it, and we're gonna um, clean the Capistan roller as well. So one way we can do that is, um, why don't I just open this thing up and show you. So I'm gonna power it off, make sure you unplug the power. And <clears throat> there's, and th this is the uh, 414 Mark I, or just the 414 by Tascam. Um, and it has uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws on the bottom here that you have to remove. And once you remove the eight screws, um, I don't think the Mark II has this, but this one does. Just remember there is an extra little screw that's right here. Um, it goes right there. And so don't try to pry it apart until you remove that screw or you might break something. So once you get those screws off, this has to come off as well, but that's kind of easy if you just kind of like uh, lift it and then it, it loosens the little knob and just set that aside. Remember where you keep it. And then this just comes straight up and there's a couple things we're going to have to dis disconnect if we wanted to, um, uh, you know, take take it completely apart, but I want this thing running right now, so what I'm going to do is, um, I don't think it's going to hurt anything to disconnect this one, and, you know, I'm going to power this back up, but be, be very careful uh, that you don't stick your hands anywhere inside. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to I want to see what's going on with this thing here. It's pretty noisy. There's some debris on this thing as well. Um, I might just need to oil this thing up. Um, so yeah, we're going to clean this thing. But the first thing we're going to do is, despite the noise, I, th I don't think that's really a problem. Um, The guy who shipped this shipped it with styrofoam and the styrofoam was all busted and there was styrofoam everywhere so it got all into this thing. Um, don't don't ship with styrofoam, man. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do right now besides cleaning the whole thing, I've, t I've done in previous videos showed you how to clean them so I'll, and this one I'm just going to focus on cleaning the uh, um, cleaning the Capistan roller. Uh, this is the cap stand, this little metal piece right here, and then this wheel, this rubber wheel is the cap stand, and you use the rubber restore and cleaner, and one way you can do it is, um, so like I said, this is pretty strong stuff, so just uh, get it on there, and then you can just press play.
Boy, this thing's noisy as heck. I think something's wrong with it besides just this wheel. But you can already see how dirty this wheel is. Um, they get a lot of junk on there. They get magnetized as well. So this thing might need to be demagnetized. I'm not sure what's going on. But um, I'm also going to probably like check the, the spring tension. There's a little spring, as you can see, right here that when you press play it, it engages this capstan roller so if we just press play but what I'm going to do before I close this is I'm going to take the head cleaner again this stuff is really powerful make sure you're in a well ventilated area and clean it up or close, close up and you just want to run this across the head here on both the uh, erase head and the play head. I think that's pretty good. So we want to make sure we connect this again before we close it up. But I'm going to go ahead and just unplug it really quick while I'm here. And then plug this all back up. Make sure you don't leave the Q-tips in there. That's a big help. Cassette fix update. So I was um, looking at this, I took it apart, and I took the belts off thinking maybe the belts were bad. And when I did that, like you see here, I found the problem. This bad boy just came right out. So it's probably hard to see in the video, but I'll take a photo. There's a little groove right here, and there's a little gear on here and just so you can see more up close this this belt goes around the wheel right here there's a little groove um, but normally this is affixed on here like so and it doesn't come out because on this side is where that little groove on the capistan is and then there's a little pinch thing that gets stuck on there that um, makes it so uh, let me make sure I'm in frame here yeah I'm on frame and that keeps it from falling out, which means that this little white gear spins this gear, which then spins this gear when play is engaged. So this wasn't spinning, which means the counter wasn't moving. With play engaged, as long as this is stuck in here, this will spin this and that will aid the tape from going around. Um, but since this was kind of loose, it was basically just fallen down enough where it was spinning, but it wasn't engaging this gear, which engage, engages this gear and makes the tape go round. All right, I think I got the piece that I need. I took it off of an old Fostex X12 that was busted, and um, it's just a little clip. And we're going to see really quickly if we can't get this on here. So, um, <clears throat> this has a washer on the bottom and on the top, so I know the video is a little dark, but you wouldn't be able to see this really anyway. I'll take some photos so you can tell, um, but uh, let me just move that a little bit so you can see. Cool. So this is going to go in here. And then there's this piece right here that's like a little latch that um, it's going to be real hard to get on there, I think, while keeping everything in frame and doing all the good stuff. So I'm going to um, stop the video, I'm going to get it on there, and then I'll show you when it's completed. Okay, so I got this thing working, and um, what I did was clean the cap stand roller, but that didn't solve my problem, so I tried to adjust the spring, that didn't solve it, and in doing um, so, I decided to take the belts off, thinking that might have been the problem, and I discovered that the cap stand pin, I'll show a photo here, had... Um, was being held in by the belts, but there's like a little spring that slips over 
and holds it in place because there's a groove on the capstan and there's a little thing washer that sticks in there and it, and it holds it in place. Since that was not held in place, it was slipping down and the gear on the underneath wasn't engaging and having this run. So uh, I got this working now and uh, let's see. see it's not eating the tape <laughs> and uh, I was brave enough to put a tape in here that I, I recorded and I like from a previous song that's also on YouTube um, so yeah I'm still gonna clean this thing up a little bit more I cleaned it pretty well across the surface uh, I'm gonna get in there and clean it up I, um, I'm really stoked that this thing is working out um, I couldn't be happier Yeah, so I fixed it and that's really cool because I for a second there thought this thing was not gonna get fixed um, but now I have a really nice I actually think the 414 uh, mark 1 is really nice because of the color and stuff like that and like the knob colors this is a really nice piece um, the pitch control works really great and um, you know it's gonna have an effect it has effect send uh, which you monitor back through here um, and uh, yeah everything works great so there we go. I uh, hope this video was useful for you, and um, I'll see you in the next one.